Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, that channel is The Chanel's 48th World, and I hopefully, hopefully you can hear me much, much better today than the, uh, ooh, I can tell you, I went back to seeing, hearing what, some of them videos. Ooh, child, thank y'all for being my family. <laughs> thank you for being understanding, but I can't, I cannot repost, I cannot remake those um, videos I did over the uh, 4th of July holiday okay but we're going down we're going to keep on trucking keep on trucking baby we got to keep on trucking yes honey and if you have if you don't know who jazz the jasmine brand is she's a youtuber she's a blogger and she has her own uh website i guess it's, it's sort of like your own uh blogging web channel or something like to that effect but she's good go over there and check her out love her love her love her okay Girl, baby, Marlo Hampton, the Hampton, I'm going to start calling her, the M. Hampton. She was on the velvet, well, behind the velvet rope with David. And, honey, she was dragging candy as something silly. Woo, she said, some, she said, all them girls don't let this money got to their head. And they let the money just go to their head. And they thinking they own everything. She said, Candy, girl. Girl, she said, you was from sugar to shit. You went from shit to sugar. Okay. I'm like, what? Who? she broke it down, Candy. She broke it down. But let's, let's go on into a little clip. Okay, just a bit of a little clip. So I can get my commentary on. Okay, hold on, folks. Hold on, family. Get your coats. Uh, better yet, take off the coats. Take off your shoes because you're going to be here for a minute. And you might have to lay down uh, with some of the things that Marlo is saying about Candy and the rest of the crew, girl. But she tanned Candy up limb from limb. <gasps> Woohoo! They get money, they got beside themselves. And what they need to realize, I've always been here. Okay. Let's back I would up. never have anything bad to say about Epic TV. So you can't hold that against all the names from Beja to Kim to Nini to Portia. It is what it is. You have to give people their flowers while they're here. I don't care if these girls got to make money and got beside themselves. And what they need to realize, I've always been here. I didn't have a blow up on this show. I came on this show already blowing and shining and being fabulous. I came on this show with Gucci runway on head to toe. I came on this show owning my own home, having the first Aston Martin here. Now, do I love my platform? Of course. Has it helped me elevate? Of course. But these girls came from shit to sugar. You feel me? So it is what it is. Shit to uh, sugar. I feel you. I talk about that a lot on this. And then when they start making the money, they got beside themselves. Oh, I can't do this. I'm too... Bitch, you didn't have nothing when you came on here. How are you too good for this? Candy, you've always been with Escape, but baby, you elevated once you got on this platform. Let's not, let's be crystal clear. It's the facts. She elevated, okay? She was. Now, we're going to stop it right there because I have to put my little two cents in because you know I wouldn't be the family member with the house to have the family come over and let's talk about certain things, certain situations, something, something, uh, some commentary that may be a little bit too rough around the feathers, but we just have to smooth it out with each take on, each perspective, and then we embody it, and then we either let it go or we let it fly, okay? But honey, when she said... That candy, you know, had her, you know, was in escape, and we all know they were making money. We didn't know how they were making their money because they was touring, and you know, everything was going good, and shit broke up, and then you know, everybody just went their own personal ways. But she is right when it comes to can you, oh, not can you, candy elevating when she got on this platform because we all knew she was a part of escape now. 
she didn't have her personal business out there because she wasn't really out there because the skate wasn't really out there but she was to her credit she said she was making um music and selling her songs to different artists that were out at the time now I you know she can is very frugal and her mother from what she said gave her some solid advice I think she said she could move out her house if she had a hundred grand in the bank or um, liquid assets is what I'm saying. And that's when she moved out her mom's house and got her her own house, which from what she says is paid for. That was her first house that she ever purchased. Not the one, not the little baby mansion and a mansion, uh, you know, uh, side by side of each other. Not that one, not that one, mm, the other one. Okay. And it, it, it was a modest house, but it was a nice house, too. You know, she did some upgrading, some renovating. And I'm sure that brought the price up a little bit more when she went to sell it. But, yes, Lord, by her being on Real Housewives of Atlanta and it being so new, and she came in from the ground floor up. I think she came in around... The third season, I think, because I know Kenya and Porsche came on the fifth season. So I'm thinking Candy may have come in on either the second or third season. But either way, Candy's frugal. She don't, she don't be messing up no money. Not if she can have to now. Will she be giving talk? We already know that's fucked up. That's messed up. And, you know, we just have to bite the bullet because, you know, Candy's going to love on who she's going to love on. And she's going to take care of who she's going to take care of. But I think she is getting tired of uh, talk. Messing up the money. Fumbling the money is what I'm saying. But we ain't going to get on him. It's not the time to get on him on, on this video. Uh, yeah. If it wasn't for Tiny Cotel Harris, T.I.'s wife. Former, well, she's still a member of Escape. Uh, yeah. She was asked to be on the show. They weren't checking for Candy now. But she gave Candy's name to the network. And they saw something in Candy that she could, you know, probably more than so uh, be a part of the Housewives crew. I'm sure she had to audition. They had to check out everything, see everything was legit, what, what she doing out there, who she with and all like that. And it was a nice come up for her. Now, Candy be balling because Candy going to always ball because her bank account going to be straight up because she's very frugal. She spends on what she thinks she needs to spend on and then she saved religiously. So... Yeah, Candy Mike didn't have the type of revenue stream that she had now that she had then, but that's to be expected, okay? Uh, and I, I, I tell you, Marlo is wearing all the asses in the ground, so I hope they had a police on standby. Because <laughs> somebody might do a Will Smith and go slapping somebody up in there, okay? Because she is tanned up candy. But she ain't just coming for candy. She coming for a hell of the whole crew. Drew, Kenya. She ain't say too much about Sonya. But I didn't finish Davis' interview with her. But we'll go back. We'll go back. Because, see, that's, you know, fitting in with my uh, conversation I'm having with the family. And I'm like, do y'all believe that? Do, do y'all agree with Marlo when she said that candy really didn't elevate until she got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta by way of her girlfriend who really cared about her who tossed her name in the basket and that's how she got found so I can somewhat agree with Marlo uh, when it comes to that I really can because it is true she is speaking facts whether you want to believe it or not can it was not there we, we weren't talking about escape and them tour and whatnot we ain't hear nothing about Candy. Candy, Candy don't want doing nothing. When Escape just said, oh, we're going to rest for a minute. We're going to park this shit until we can figure out what's what, what's what. And she still ain't too cool with those Scott sisters. Now, I think it's the one that can really, really sing. Um, I forgot what her name was. Here, y'all know who I'm talking about. The one that really, really can sing. Not the one that uh, Candy be playing around all the time. Uh I can't remember the child's name, but y'all put it in the comments. Y'all know I'm, I'm challenged that way. Can't remember every damn thing. But uh yeah, so we'll go back to the uh we'll go back to uh what Marlo was saying with David on his uh velvet behind the velvet rope uh channel. Okay. Not known anywhere outside of here, Atlanta. You went in L.A. making moves. When you married Todd, that's when you got out to L.A. That's when you got into New York. So, and when you got on this platform. 
it's a huge platform and i agree and like we don't need to get into nini specifically but that's a thing like that's a lot of these women not just on atlanta like get in their own way it really they got beside themselves because think about it you love these girls in the beginning right and then they change when the money changed they change thank god i was used to money Thank God I came for it. And Bravo is family. That's home. You don't get on a platform and betray a platform who changed your lifestyle that you never would have seen. And I saw this lifestyle before, but guess what? It has elevated me to a higher level. And it is what it is. You have to give props to where Bravo takes great care of us. It's a fun network. We fly first class. We eat good. We argue. We curse each other out. I have my moments, but that's fucking family. That is family. It's family. What about when Kenya, I mean, I'm sure you've heard where she says, you know, Marlo is inauthentic, that you're trying to be Nini. I'm sure you've seen that quote by her. Let me tell you something. I cannot be Nini, who is the icon. Only thing I can be is the amazing ex-icon, okay? The iconic ex-icon. That's who I am. It is here. That is. I gotta stop her right there. When she talking about Nini as an icon, now, now, wait a minute. Now, I think we're going a little bit too far by calling her an icon, a legend. No, Nini was just a good fit for ratchetness. Okay, for total ratchetness. And I'm pretty sure if Nini was on this show, Milo she'll be tearing your ass up too because you're just, you know, a player in the game. You ain't a friend of the show no more. You a little player in the game and all of them are trying to play chess. But some of them are falling back and playing checkers. You see what I'm saying? Portia played checkers. Drew Satora played checkers. But we're going to elevate Drew because she knows how to get under your skin. And her tone doesn't change not one bit. The one she getting on, the, like Sanya or Sonya. She, woo, she had uh, Sonya all every kind of which way. You know what I'm saying? And she did not change her tone or anything. That's skill. That's talent when you can do that. When you can get somebody so pressed, so out of their character, and you keeping the same tone, and ain't nothing elevating in your voice or anything, but the other person you digging in the ass about is hollering and screaming and wanting to fight you. That's good TV right there. That is good TV. So I can't put Drew down. I, I can put Drew over S Sonya now because she just every which way. Every which way. But we ain't talking about Sonya or Sonya. We talking about how Miss Marlowe is getting on in Candy's ass. Now she finna get on Kenya's ass. Alright? Now she had said something about Kenya's products. Okay? Only being on the south side of Atlanta. Now the south side of Atlanta is really the mecca of somewhat lower class, somewhat middle class. You know how they gentrification there? It's a mixture of both of them. But Candy is living on the better side of the south side. Oh, okay. So, um, and, and she's right. Uh, Marlo is right. The Walmarts that I go to, and I've been around a whole hell of a lot of them in several different counties. I don't see Kenya's uh, hair product in there. So for them to have it at one location that's in a real kind of sketchy place of town, it's saying something. It's saying something. It's saying a lot. Because I know it's supposed to be in Sally Beauty Salon, but I thought it was supposed to be in Walmart too. But I think... Um, Marlo saying it's just in CVS. And CVS is kind of known out there. Uh, I don't know if they're based bigger than Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Cause Walmart's just like the one-stop shop. So it would have been nice to see Kenya's uh, products in Walmart uh, in every location. But, hey, I can only go by what Marlo's saying. Marlo's saying, hey, it's only on the south side of Atlanta and I can't cont uh can't contest to, not contest but I can't agree or contest to what um she's saying is true because I haven't seen it in Walmart now if my family members on YouTube y'all don't see her products let us just know so we can come back and do a little follow-up story on what we 
actually seen in Walmart or something like to that effect. But right now, I know they're in CVS. Uh, C- yeah, the CVS one more thing. say. And I know they're in Sally Beauty Salon. But th- we don't have those um, those many Sally Beauty stores anymore either. I think they're going under. Uh, just only reason I said they're going under certain areas. My mom used to like this hair oil grease. And only Sally had them. The three locations that I know that they have them here in Georgia, they didn't, it, it looked like they're going out of business and they weren't really ordering no more products to be placed in their stores. I don't know if it's because of COVID. I don't know if the demand is just not there. Uh, but yeah, well, let's continue. Let's continue. As people watch, you know, now that you have the peach and like they learn more about you, like what do you want people to take away and say like, wow, you know, you've been with us for 10 years, but I didn't, I never knew that about Marlo. I just want them to know, never be ashamed of your past. Like how people try to oh, she's a con. Yes, I'm an ex-con. I'm an iconic ex-con. And it's just what you want in life. Like for years, I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, my God, they're talking about my past. I made all these mistakes. It's so embarrassing. My nephews to see the people. But guess what? I could pay $10,000 to get it covered up and no one can see it. I leave it there because I want it to be a friendly reminder of where I came from and where I never want to go back. And no matter how many times all the other peach holders bring it up, yeah, you're right. That was me, young, dumb, stupid, a single female trying to raise myself, running away at 10. But look at me now. We have the same job, the same platform, sweetheart. And my story was different from yours. And you look at other housewives and just people in general that when they're in the public eye, they try to really control the narrative of what gets out there. And that's just got to be exhausting. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about, you know, there's so much talk about, you know, this one's going to be gone. That one's going to be gone next season. You know, I don't think you're going anywhere for a very long time now that you have this. And, honey, I have to agree with David. I don't think Marlo going nowhere either. She's uh, she's just ready. She's just cemented in her peach. She's cemented in her, her, her chair or whatever they give her. Because one thing that Marlo has uh, got down, packed. And can't nobody take away from her because can you do the same thing? All right. Can you just a little bit more classier? Well, what she do? Drama. They want to see ratchetness, drama, insane, uh, what do you call it? Commitment to bringing that. And Marlo does it. Marlo gets the assignment. I don't care what nobody's saying. She ain't saying like no bump on the log like, uh... Sheree, Sheree should be questioning on whether she will be coming back because unless she can pull a rabbit out her hat, hat or ass, I don't see why we need Sheree there. You know what I'm saying? We still ain't got no she by Sheree designs. We still don't see in J.C. Penney's Macy's hell the Dollar General store. Okay, we don't see no fashions. Now it's supposed to be for this season end. She is supposed to be giving us. Um, some wares, but shit, this thing done been taped, sealed, solid, and we're looking at it. What they have uh, taken, what well, what they have been a, a part of on season fourteen and gave us. So technically, we should see joggers somewhere, some store, some brand name store. Hell, yeah, they can be in Walmart. I ain't too proud to say i shop in walmart for some of my clothes yes i do i get good sweaters there i get good t-shirts hell i even get some jeans out of there all right so i'm about with her where's them joggers sheree where are those athletic wares that you promised us okay and we still don't find we don't even find out no uh exercise equipment exercise mats exercise towels water bottles where they at, girl? Where they at? So if anybody should be scared, it should be Sheree. Because uh, what she tried to give us as a storyline of dating an ex-con and they're still married. I mean, still happily uh, in a relationship with one another. We saw what that looks like. He left her <laughs> high and dry when he's supposed to actually been coming to see her. But... I mean, what, what can you do? What can you do? 
if you're going to lie to somebody and say you got this, that, and the third, and they say, okay, we can bring you back, but then you ain't give us shit. You ain't give us nothing. So I have to agree with Marlo's tactics or trying to stay relevant. Somebody got to play the bad victim. I mean, somebody got to uh, be the adversary. Somebody got to be the shit starter. Somebody got to be like, you know, dedicated to bringing drama. And can you just say, hell, I buy out this season. I've been doing it for a hell of a long time since season five. And here we are season 14. And we still don't have nobody trying to make it walk, make it do what it do. Start some shit and, and hide your hands, but be ready to fight about it. Meaning no running, no hesitation. That's what we need. But child, <laughs> Marlo has found her niche. At first I thought, well, okay, hell, she got to be Nene. You know what I'm saying? But technically, Marlo can just be herself. We just got to stop seeing her as a friend of the show. Marlo is here to stay. Marlo, as well as Kenya, got those numbers up. If we had to rely on Drew, Candy, Sonya, and Sheree, we'll be looking at Bourneville. And it's because, you know, Candy's not that tight to start off. Well, let me let me backtrack because she be, she be uh, telling other folk business. And... Um, she knows she be done did wrong, and the only thing she can do is what her mama taught her: confess. You fucked up. You fucked up. And with her telling Charay's business about you know her man and all this and the third, then you know what could she say? I mean, she could have like you know threw her under the bus and say, "Well, hell, he is a con. Why are you dating a con?" I, you know what I'm saying? She could have ruffled some feathers just a little bit and then go back and 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 straighten them out later on. But just to bring, because ain't nobody looking for, uh, I'm, t I'm sorry, ain't nobody looking for a no reality TV special to give them a kumbaya moment. We're not. We now will stop asking for that because, mm-mm. Hello, Moto. That's not where we at. So, she was right in what she was saying. Not everything she's saying was right, but just pinpointed stuff that she's giving us. About Kenya, about uh, Candy, Ken uh, but neither one of them, Kenya or Candy, are not going to do a whole hell of a lot that's going to tarnish their brand and what they're trying to be a part of in the future. Because, you know, you coming from a Ratchet TV show, that's what people are going to see. But I like how Candy is transitioning herself as being on this platform, still making it do what it needs to do. But she's opening up other doors, like in the acting field. So when she say, fuck this, I don't want to do this no more. I'm not going to do this no more. Then, <laughs> well, I mean, what, what we going to do? She's going to go on about her merry little way. And she's going to um, be good at it. So, uh, who is calling me? Oh, hold on, guys. Hello? Hey, gonna call you back because I'm I'm taping. Is it an emergency? I smoking weed. <laughs> the you smoke the you, you, my nephew smoking weed. Well, you smoked back in the day, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So everybody don't try weed at least once or twice. No biggie. Yeah. But I'll call you back. Okay. No. Ooh, child, my brother act like the world on fell apart. I mean, his son is like 27 years old. I mean, okay, you know, things like that do happen. But uh, I guess, you know, he, it hurt his heart. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But uh, let's get back to this commentary. Dog, I don't lost my sp spot, y'all. Okay, maybe that's it. Okay, help me find the bedroom. Lord, where's the interview we had with Marlo? Uh, I hope y'all enjoying this. I hope y'all enjoying this. Because I'm enjoying it just trying to talk to y'all about it. <laughs> but uh, I can't find it, guys. Dog, I see the one they did with Candy. I might have to go back in and see what they did with Miss Candy, baby. Hmm. But anyway, um, I'm sure that was enough. 
if I get some other, uh, I'll go back and try to listen to some more stuff. But like I said, she is coming for um, candy. Well, really, she's coming for all of them. She's just picking them off one by one to see which one she can uh, humiliate or downgrade uh, the quickest. And whoever going to come back with some, I guess, good comeback, then she'll make it do what it do. But Marlo is playing the game. Like I said, when you come on The Real Housewives of Atlanta or you really come on any reality TV show, don't think them people going to be your friends because they're not. They're not. They're just there to make their check and make it do what it do. And at this time, uh, it's what um, what Marlo's time. It's her time to shine. And she's going to be pulling every stop she can every uh road she can turn over she's going to do what she needs to do every stone that has not been turned over she is going to turn it over now is she being needy i don't think so uh she's hung around nini a lot she knows how nini gets down but you also don't bite the hand that feeds you so you never know when nini might be on top again in the reality shows i'm not really sure uh oh i found it guys let me see if it'll play oh it won't play hmm. i don't know what's wrong with my phone like everything messing up but anyway um guys that's all i have for this particular video uh like i said i'll reach back into my portfolio and see what we got going on if she's talking about anybody else and trying to dog them out but yeah it just is what it is like i said <laughs> it just is what it is when it comes to marlo we can't like i said we can't actually talk bad about marlo in a sense because she is bringing the drama to the show whether we like how she's doing it that really is not a real big concern but the numbers are going up and that's what the um that's what uh, Bravo wanted to see. That's why they was making all these changes and bringing all these folks in. That's new. And if Sonya don't wake up, she going to be gone too. Because we're going to get to the point where we be like, uh-uh, we tired of her. And, you know, the, it's a shame, but they do listen to what um, the society is saying, what the people are saying. They are definitely uh, listening and they're paying attention and they're getting rid of some people. Like, you know, everybody was talking. Well, not everybody. Some people were saying they didn't want Nene to be on the show anymore. And look how that worked out. They say they didn't want Cynthia to be on the show anymore. And Lord, I know we were dragging our feet with that one. But eventually, guess what? Cynthia's not on the show anymore. So I feel like if you're not going to bring the drama then they're not going to be checking for you. <sighs> you know, that's all I got to say, really. And I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.